Ah, good evening, Darren. A 2 0 win over Collier's Wood United. What are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, evening, Gary. Um, overall, I think uh, a good defensive performance from us today probably warranted a clean sheet. Um, thought uh, two well taken goals. Um, yeah, I think we, we, you know, we, put in, we gave them a little bit of respect today because you know, of the run that they've been on, but I think we put in a good enough performance today to, to be value for the win. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, we had a, a couple of chances in the first half, not too many. Um, there were the incidents when both Ollie and Phil got taken down in the area. Both penalties not given. Um, I think from where I was, the Ollie one looked like it was a spot on decision. Phil's I was a little bit more dubious over. Yeah. But that aside, we didn't really make the keeper make any saves. <coughs> no, absolutely. I think we had lots of huff and puff, got into good areas, but really. Um, lacked a little bit of quality in the final third um, and resulted in probably everyone getting quite excited over the penalty appeals when we should have really maybe capitalised on the play that we had, you know, in like, you know, all the opportunities that we created in open play. So, um, and if, you know, we could probably go on and on and on talking about penalty appeals today because there was oh, a lot four, of them. four or five, I think, through, and, and interestingly enough, not, you know, none, none given. Yeah, and when we say four or five, just for clarification, it was a couple for us couple for them so yeah. it wasn't all wasn't all us saying oh no, we should have had a penalty no, but no, they had a couple of decent shouts as well so Definitely. it is what it is um in that first half there were quite a few times when the ball seemed to fizz across the face of goal again something that happened against AFC Hayes a few times yeah just no one making that final decisive run and managing to turn it home disappointing really because I think that we know that we've got that in you know in our locker to put in those kind of quality deliveries from wide areas um so it's not. It's you know. It shouldn't be as a uh, surprise to the guys you know that are in the in the middle. But for whatever reason, we haven't been applying the clinical touches just to convert those opportunities. So it's something we can definitely go and work on training. Yeah, definitely. Second half again, a fairly solid performance. Took a, a super goal by Phil to finally break Colliers down. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, we looked as if we could score pretty much most times we went forward. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, he pops up, doesn't he, with, um, with a, a moment of quality. Uh, he was unlucky again today. You know, should, should have probably had his hat trick tonight. Um, but two very well taken goals in the first one, I think, just, just took the pressure off a little bit. Although we could have done with maybe following up the second a little bit quicker than we did. Yes. I mean, uh, to be fair, though, the timing of the second one, it eased every, everybody's nerves going into that last five minutes, didn't yeah. it? I mean, at 1-0, against a side, as you say, we're in good form and yeah. we're playing well. I mean, the seven was getting on the ball, looking lively. Mm -hmm. Malachi came on, who used to play for us, looked quite lively when he got on. Yeah. So we were under the cosh a little bit towards the back end of the second half, but then <laughs> good breakout, nice ball from Marlon to Phil. Yeah, absolutely. And you leave yeah. Phil one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. Well, yeah, well converted, on not it? Yeah. And Kyle would have been... Carl would have been probably kicking himself because you know five five or so minutes before he's you know he's capitalised on a mistake. Defenders left the ball, long ball forward, um, and he's he's first touch you know eluded him and he's running into the keeper. So uh, he could have probably took the pressure off for us. But yeah, once that second one drops the field, you kind of tend to think that there's generally one outcome. Yeah, defensively you must have been pleased. Um, a second clean sheet on the spin. Yeah. The back line looked very solid. Craig, I think, was excellent. Bogle was excellent. Malachi, everyone's been raving about his performance today. Obviously, mm. Tance was a little bit quiet in the first half, but much better in the second. And you had that little shield of Tommy Smith just in front of him. Yeah, was, uh, yeah you know what? I mean, as a defender, you live for clean sheets. That's what I was saying to the guys. You know, if, if they if they can go out there and do the right things, we've 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 avoided our sort of uncharacteristic or characteristic mistakes that we, we were falling into the trap of give, you know, giving away easy goals, soft goals, and we've avoided that the last couple of games. Um, and if you took their mistakes away, you know, we probably would have had a few more clean sheets before, you know, in the run-up to these two. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the boys have reacted really well, you know, they've, they've kept their chins up and uh, as, a, as a collective, you know, they're um, recorded two on the bounce now, so yeah, very good. And the big thing today, I think Craig very rarely troubled. I don't recall him having actually a save to make. I mean, he came for one big cross in the second half. Yeah. Took it really well above the lad. That aside, 
Yeah, yeah. And yeah. They, they had a, you know, one of their lads had a pretty good effort from just outside the box, which I think just bent wide of the post and yeah. left Craig scrambling. But um, yeah, do you know what? Again, like you say, as a, as a collective five or six, if you cast you know, the keeper and Tommy in the mix as well, it's, it's what they're there for. Excellent performance. It is what they're there for. You are quite right. Moving on, obviously we've got a, a nice little Christmas coming up and then um, we move on to Red Hill next week. Big yeah, another, another tough one, is it? <laughs> no, 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 this is, well, well, it is a tough one, but this one will be a big game because they are, what, sitting third or fourth in the table? Yeah. Right up there and someone we will need to get something out of if we are to keep the pressure on the leaders. Yeah, absolutely. I just heard that um, Chelsea won 2-1 today, so um, keeps status quo at, at the top and I think, obviously, Red Hill are a side to, to be respected on their own ground, um, but but you know but not feared. I uh, guess we you know we'll just prepare. We'll have a session between you know over the Christmas and New Year period. We'll get a session in with the boys, blow out a few cobwebs, and um, hopefully we'll, we'll give the lads a little bit of recovery time because a few of them are carrying knocks. But if we can get them back fit, you know we'll go there with nothing to fear. Although we'll respect them for when they are. Cool. I'm just going to touch on the injury side of things. Obviously, Adam Allen's out for a little while now. Ferdy, I believe, is starting on the road to recovery, so hopefully he won't be too much longer. Sure. Do we have any other injuries or concerns that we know of? Well, Ollie's been kicked from pillar to post for the last couple of games, Ollie Twam, so he, yeah. he's uh, he's been suffering. Um, you know, we retired him a little bit early today to, to take him out of the firing line. Ness has got a bit of a hip injury, which has been plaguing him for a few weeks, so I think a bit of you know break over Christmas won't do him any harm. Um, as you say, Adam, we don't he's unknown entity. Scan on the 27th and we wish him well. Um, and Ferdy, as you said, as you uh, rightly alluded to, hopefully we'll be back training in January. But um, I'm just trying to think across the rest. Yeah, I think that's the core of our of our issues. Although Tanks has took a knock today on his on his ankle, which has previously caused him a few problems. So hopefully that's nothing too serious there. Okay, cool. Uh, finally, do you have a message to the the club as a whole <coughs> as we move into the Christmas period? Any? Yeah, firstly, I'd like to say a massive, massive thank you from myself and, and the uh, and the, the board and the, the management for the for the great support today. Um, the fantastic support from the club today. Lots of the parents and players had turned up, and that was uh, really, really appreciated. Being the boys, you know, thrive on those kind of um, those kind of opportunities to play in front of bigger crowds. Um, and you know, obviously. Most of the club has probably already wound up for the Christmas break, so you know, wishing obviously everybody in the rest of the club big, you know, big section now. The rest of the club, some 300 or so members, a really, really happy Christmas and a prosperous new year. Look forward to seeing everyone in uh, 2019. Marvelous. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers.